I have a channel called Tried and Refused Productions that does yes, movie reviews yes. and analysis videos. Yes, I know, I know. You do? Yes. Wow. Thank you so much for joining us. I know it's a hectic schedule. Um, I wanted to first congratulate you on the recent success. Uh, all three, Kane Kane, uh, Kala, and Minal Murli, of Thank course. You so much. Thank um, you so much. I wanted to ask you this is your third outing with Ashika Busa as director, you know, with Maya Nadi and Virus. Uh, what is the reason for this collaborative process and how you connect with each other? I'm very comfortable working with him. Uh, he's a very much direct, uh, actor friendly. Uh, director, he, he is a very good actor. He used oh, yeah. to be a very good actor in college. So he know how to handle an actor. And he never gives any pressure to us. And yeah, I, I feel very comfortable. And I think he knows um, a special trick of extracting the best work from everyone on the set yeah. without them knowing. Mm -hmm. So maybe, and maybe also he is also, I think he is also feeling comfortable working with me. Because we have planned one more, oh, wow, okay. which is starting in April. Wow. No, because these collaborations are some of my favorites of your recent work also. So we're looking forward to more. Um, I wanted to ask you, so your character especially uh, with the trailer, his name is Chandra Prakash. I wanted to know, um, at least from the trailer, he doesn't come across as a wholly likable person. You know, he seems like a person who's willing to do anything for his work. Uh, if the TRP ratings are up, he's willing to go to any length. Um, but I wanted to ask you, because I've been such a fan of your filmography recently, do you naturally connect to darker, grey characters? And because you've become very popular globally now, um, I wanted to ask you whether you're any way concerned about public perception. Come on. I'm, I'm just an actor, I'm doing my job. And I don't have to uh, act as a like perfect uh, ideal human being in, in, in the movies. I want to try and become an ideal human being in the life. Yeah. I don't want to act as an human, ideal human being in the life. In movies, characters are uh, what I think is important. Yeah. Like, be it a comedian, be it a uh, character role, be it a small role, be it a villain role, be it a... Uh, be it a uh, no, so like many morally ambiguous role. characters you play. Like I have already done that and I have lost nothing. Like I am not concerned about my image. I wanted to um, uh, regain my unpredictability. Mm -hmm. At some point I, when I became successful, this <laughs> success, I think it's the biggest trap. Yeah, yeah. I think at some point I became predictable. Mm -hmm. And now through all these movies, Kana, Kane, Kane, Minnal and Naunaradhan, I think I am slowly regaining that. So that, so that uh, I can do whatever I want. Yeah. People don't uh, anticipate uh, anticipate what I'm going to do next. So that for me as an actor, my job won't be boring. At the same time, for audience also, I can keep surprising them. Yeah. It will be a better experience for them and me. That's why I'm trying and doing this. I also uh, like wanted to know, uh, like you're extremely collaborative in your you know work that you do with people. Uh, be it Korup, be it Virus, be it even Lucifer. Now, as you become more and more popular, is that something that you will try to do? And nothing wrong in doing yeah. that if you have enough time, if you're free. Yeah. Nothing wrong in acting in a French movie. Yeah. Because it's always a great surprise to see you in one of those collaborations. So if, if people like to see me like that, why should I restrict myself from doing that? Is it a, a, a feature in the Malayalam film industry? Because when I see even Mamuti sir's next film that's coming out on the same date as you and Dulkar's film's also coming out on the same date, I see so many actors in one project. It's uh, almost as if everybody is working for the same cause. Yes, we all are teammates. I consider all my contemporary actors, all my senior actors, all my junior actors, I consider them as my teammates. And yes, we all... All together, we are the Malayalam film industry, yeah. and we are taking to, uh, we are trying to make um, beautiful movies, yeah. and we all are releasing our movies on the same day. We have this competition, but it's a healthy one. Mm -hmm. um, like, like how we have a competition between the teammates. Yeah. Yeah. 
I don't I don't uh, see them as my rivals because I think as an industry Malayalam industry is growing uh, a lot of a lot more people are watching I know a lot of non Malayalis are waiting for Malayalam movies I I personally know many of them uh, who are waiting for Malayalam movies so we don't have time to fight and we don't have time to waste yeah. so we all are doing something together when the industry becomes big obviously we will also become big so yeah. 100% uh, i also wanted to ask you like uh, now uh, it's become very clear to me you're an actor first and you consider probably with all the interviews i've seen you don't consider this star power or anything you go for me to. i don't know about others for me it's a burden yeah. i i cannot take it mm -hmm. because there's already like what the audience will expect from a particular to be i don't want people to expect that. anything from me so that i can surprise them I also wanted to ask you so with uh, Ashik sir's films or especially I think he really communicates with the actions of the characters rather than them telling us their back story they're always mysterious characters they take odd decisions most of the time this is a movie that I would believe has a lot of like social themes it talks about a lot about our society but um, they often transition to become preachy which I can't expect from an Ashik Abu film so uh, 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 is also that something that connects with you that his filmography almost like leaves it to the audience to take a call this is something like that mm -hmm. like uh, the best thing about ashikatan is he every movie of him is different from his previous movie so uh, my idea of doing movies also is very similar yeah. so ashikatan as a director is very unpredictable he does romantic movies he does thrillers yeah. he does uh, uh like a, a movie based on food just out of food and love and so that that's how he is unpredictable and i love to work with him because of that and in this movie we don't have plans to preach anyone yeah. and we don't have to uh, we don't have uh, uh plans to give any statements but maybe it will provoke many thoughts mm. I, I, this movie as far as i know it will be thought provoking and when <coughs> when we make a movie it's not necessary that there, there should be a social message it's yeah. not necessary it's not mandatory but uh we can give a social message mm -hmm. a good message yeah. giving a wrong message i don't i don't support it giving um, glorifying something that i believe is wrong i'll never do it that's a no for you from the script level only yes yeah. of course and uh like when i uh, so it's not mandatory yeah. but as cinema is a very influential medium we can use that influence for a greater cause 100% because when i even think about kala uh, it's not set out the politics that it wants to talk about we wanted it to be stylish yeah and uh, still say something still say something because usually when we say something say say uh, like when we try to convey some politics which we told in color similar to that uh, people tend to uh, go for an off beat mode mm -hmm. we tried a different thing like like uh, trying to keep it commercial action movie yeah. but uh, no it resonated yes. it communicated i love that film yeah uh, i wanted to ask you um, you know you've talked about versatility uh do you think with the current landscape both with ott uh streaming films uh is that something that an actor has to like compartmentalize and try to do to be relevant in this day and age uh do different mediums yes um, i think certain movies are being made for ott yeah. uh, certain movies are being made for theaters and once we release the movie in theaters we still have the option to release it in ott yeah. after the theatrical run So I think um, gradually it will coexist. Mm -hmm. People who want to watch movies from theater can go to the theater and watch it. People who doesn't want to go to the theater, if they have some reservations or if they have some physical challenge or if they don't like going to theaters, um, like I know uh, I have an introvert friend who doesn't want to go to the theater. Mm -hmm. So like it, it can be like that. So people, I think for audience they are having two options. Mm -hmm. They can choose. Yeah. they are the ones who uh, should have that option they'll choose and uh, i'm someone who wants to watch all the movies from theater yeah. if i have any possibility i'll definitely go 
and watch a movie from the theater so that i can experience it to the fullest mm -hmm. but if i'm not if i'm uh, like if my work timings are odd if i'm i'm not physically well if something like corona or something is prevailing and it's in the, we are, if if we are in the middle of a yeah. covid wave then we don't have an option True. And so it can have a life of its own somewhere else. Yes, and after theatrical release, also when it releases in OTT, uh, people can people all over the world can watch it at a time. Yeah. So there are pros and cons in both. So that's why I want both to coexist. True, true. Uh, lastly, to be know, I wanted to ask you as a um, Minal Murli fanboy, I wanted to ask you one: Have you and Basil already spoken about number two? Yeah, we keep on discussing, but we haven't finalized on anything yet because we, if we are making a sequel for Minal Murli, if we are planning a Minal Murli two, we all want it to be uh, even better than uh, Minal Murli one. So um, we don't mind taking more time. More time. Oh, one hundred percent. Quality is the only thing we are concerned about. True. And I have to say, like when the red carpet event was happening in Mumbai, I saw you with two other superheroes. So, yes. and it is like a joint superhero universe <laughs> and I was like, this will be amazing. Well, that was amazing. Meeting them, watching the movie with them, it was amazing. So, no, looking forward and congratulations on the film and uh, we want to keep on uh, watching you in the web series, content online and theatres as well. So, congratulations. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank, Thank you. you.